today we are looking at the X-Men 275 Wolverine from the retro carded line. As you can see, here's the box here. You got a window packaging showing the box and some box art. Really nice here. A nice look at the box. On the back, you get some good old classic uh, art here with the Wolverine, picturing what the figure can do, and all the six figures in the line. So, yeah, let's open them up. Uh, open him up. Here is Wolverine out of the box. As you can see, really nice looking figure. So this is from the X-Men 275 uh, vo uh, issue where they're all in their striker outfits with their danger room outfits. Here's the cover. Very, very beautiful cover. I do want to get the other two packs. Uh, Hasbro did release two different three packs um, after this guy was released on a retro card featuring Storm, Jubilee, Forge, Banshee, Psylocke, and Gambit, all in their uh, same striker outfits or danger room outfits so you can complete that cover. Definitely want to get those other uh, three packs. Definitely will be getting them next month. So stay, uh, stay, stay tuned for that. But right now we have Wolverine and this head sculpt looks amazing. As you can see right there. Just look at that, that that's so cool. So yeah, uh, his accessories, he comes with uh, two uh, fists, as you can see. These are without the claws right there. And then one extra head with him screaming, as you can see right there. Really nice sculpt right there. And yeah, here's the figure itself. He does come with these, the original Wolverine claws. So as you, um, to talk about these, these are different than the ones that you can get on like the X-Force Wolverine from that one, uh, from that one wave, the Cal not Caliban, was it Caliban? It may have been Caliban. Um, I don't know. There was the X-Force Wolverine. He came with claws that were more or less uh, very stiff and rigid. And they were like, they kind of stayed on. These are basically the original ones from the, Apoc uh, the Apocalypse Wave Wolverine. Basically, these are very, not loose, but these don't really like to stay together as much. You more or less have to like spread them out to keep them, you know, spread out. And yeah, you can pop these off. Uh, some people replace them with like the can of beams, like metal claws. I might do that with these because I'm not a really big fan of how... Hasbro did the original claws, but that's no here nor there. Articulation on this guy, you do get a neck ball joint. If I can take it off right there, as you can see. You know, while we're at it, we'll replace the head. There you go, got the screaming head. Arms go around. 360 you get a very stiff because probably because I just opened it but you do get a very stiff butterfly joint as you can see it doesn't really want to move that much bicep swivel double jointed elbows swivels at the wrist and a hinge you do get an ab crunch that goes in about that much goes out about that much and this body is pinless. This is the, I think, the first ever pinless Wolverine. Legs go out about that much. These are plastic pieces, and they do cover up the thigh swivel. You get a double jointed knee. You get boot swivel, and then ankles go up. They go down, and forward facing pin for rocker. So yeah, very articulated Wolverine. Really, really cool. You can get some good poses with this guy. Like something like that. Now let's compare him with some other figures in my collection. Starting off with our last review, uh, here is the Marvel Legends Compound Hulk. As you can see, he's very, very huge. 
next to Wolverine. I, I'm gonna definitely pose these two together because if you don't know, Hulk, uh, Wolverine uh, first appeared in Hulk or in the Hulk comics. So I think that'd be cool. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Let's let's see this. We got Kamen Rider Gates from Kamen Rider Zio. Let's get him in a vanilla pose real quick. There you go. Uh, let's see. If you want to see what he is, um, what he looks like next to a 2.5 inch, here he is next to a 2.5 inch Yoshi. If you want to see him next to another X-Men Marvel Legend, here he is next to the X-Men 97 Marvel Legends Jean Grey. As you can see, the yellow is more orange on her compared to the yellow of the Striker outfit for Logan. Uh, and lastly, let's do Tiger and Bunny, Barnaby Brooks Jr. and Wild Tiger. So yeah, this was my review on the Marvel Legends uh, Wolverine from the Retro Collection, or the Retro Card. This is a really nice Wolverine. I'm excited to get the other two packs. This is more of like a part one to a bigger review. So yeah. I also have the X-Men 97 Logan on the way. Ba a Big Bad Toy Store just did a restock. It was a very quick restock, but they did restock on that 97 Wolverine and I was able to get him. So I'm definitely gonna be reviewing, him, uh, reviewing that guy. I'm uh, going to compare that to this and do some head swaps. So definitely look out for that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for the photos. Uh, those are always so fun to do. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time.